All right, guys, out on my run, I ran into Southview Lawn Care here, man. Go ahead and tell them a little bit about your business. Yeah, this is Benjamin Williams from Southview Lawn Care. Check me out if you're in the Savannah area. You got a phone number you want to share? 912-662-2346. All right, all right, man. Southview Lawn Care. Good luck, brother. All right, so good, happy Sunday to everybody. I got a video uploading right now. Sorry if I got puffy face and all that. I just got out of bed a little while ago. It's 8 o'clock Sunday morning. I got a video uploading uh, to YouTube right now. A lawn service clean out we did down the road. Pretty cool video. There's a little glitch in it. Um, and I was super distracted. Watch the video. You'll understand what I mean um, by the editing. Today we're going to do, uh, we're going to try to, we got to cut three yards today. We're going to run six miles today. We're going to work out a little bit, but not on video. But we're going to work out a little bit on a workout machine I have. Um, and... We're going to make food for tonight and for the next few days, and what we're going to make is chili. And so I'm going to put all the ingredients in the description below, so you might have to hit the show more, or if you're watching from like your phone, your iPhone, or something like that, hit the down arrow, and if you're watching from your TV, I don't know what to tell you. Get your pen and paper, and you can pause the video right now, and when you come back, hit play, and I'm going to give you exactly what I do, exactly what I use to make my, my um, famous chili, okay? Uh, so, go. Uh, you didn't really pause it, did you? That's just me standing really, really still. That's pretty good, wasn't it? Um, this is 15 ounce can of, of the beans, okay? That's your first ingredient. Your second ingredient is 14 and a half ounce diced tomatoes. Now, Basil, garlic, and oregano. You can go plain Jane if you want, but you're going to be adding spices anyway. So here, already got basil, garlic, and oregano, or basil, depending if you're if you're cooking on an expensive stove or a cheaper stove. Basil or basil. 14.5 ounces. A six ounce can of tomato paste. This also with basil and oregano. Some minced garlic. Now, you can use the type that come. You can use fresh garlic if you want, but who has time for that? Chopping that stuff up. But you can use um, the minced garlic that comes. I think it's a, it could be a yellow label, and it's with olive oil. Uh, this is probably just water. I don't know. But uh, we're going to use about, I don't know, a good teaspoon and a half of this, okay? This actually puts a little heat in it, too. You know, garlic. A lot of garlic is pretty hot. This is the lazy man's way of seasoning your chili. Just grab your McCormick. They already did it for you, so don't worry about stuff like that. If you want to add some more stuff, you can, which I did say about a teaspoon and a half of the chili, right? Yeah. And then this whole packet, right? We're making a lot of chili. This is going to be a big bowl of chili. All right? Your salt to taste. You can always add it to your bowl later. And some pepper. Whatever you want. Here's Mediterranean sea salt if you wanted to use that. Um, okay, so that's that's going to be your spices. One whole onion, and you're going to chop it up. And I, I use a food processor, the Ninja food processor. Um, and two bell peppers. Make sure you wash these guys. Man, you see people in the store. I mean, they're like... And then they go and they start squeezing. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Wash these good. I usually take them when I wash them, and guys, I know you're bad at this. You guys don't wash crap, do you? I take I take my pepper. I've already washed them. I want to demonstrate a dab of Dawn. I know you guys are like what? And then just massage that Dawn all around, man. Kill them germs, greasy fingerprints, all that crap. Get that crap off of there, man. That's what I do. And you'll feel it when it's all off. The 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 Squeaky clean, you hear that? Squeaky clean. So two of those big um, bell peppers, make sure you get the seeds out. I want to use the food processor for that too. And then, the creme de la creme. Now this is completely up to you guys. I'm going to use 80-20. They make this all the way up to like 96-4, you know, for your lean and your fat. Um, you know, I want a little fat. I want a little gravel in my travel and I want a little fat in my diet. You see what I'm saying? Um, you can use turkey if you want. Um, you can use ground pork if you want. 
Um, but when it comes, you know, you can use venison if you want. That's really good too, you know, deer meat. Um, you can use fresh, you know, game. Whatever you want, you can use. It'll go with every single thing that I did, but I just use ground beef. Um, and the 80 20 is fine with me. And th th this is two pounds. So I'm going to use two pounds. All right? To make this video a little bit shorter, I'm going to advance through everything. But all you do, brown your meat, drain the fat, and throw everything that I just showed you into a well lined crock pot and let that cook for at least eight hours, six to eight hours at least and then you can eat dinner tonight warm it up tomorrow and it's going to be even better um, warm it up the next day and it's going to be even better because everything continues to combine um, and just tastes better so I'm going to go ahead and chop everything, brown everything, dump everything I'll show you what it looks like in the crock pot and then it's time to go for a run so here we go I got the um, bell pepper and the onion chopped up I use the food processor. It's a little bit smaller pieces using a food processor. You got to, you know, whoop, 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 whoop on it. You don't want to make freaking baby food out of it. You know what I mean? Um, if you're really picky about your consistency of your food and you want the chunks to be a certain size, then they make different types of uh, vegetable cutters that will slice everything up. Um, manual little things you put them in and push down and it will slice them up the way you want uh, to the size you want. I don't really care doesn't really matter to me um, when it comes to that as long as it's I mean I'm not trying to put a paste in there you know what I mean um, just a little bit of, of you know texture on your tongue is fine but it's really more to just cook in with the flavor is really what I'm looking for anyway that's using a ninja food processor um, don't forget to brown your meat and when you do you know you're using a two pound uh, thing of hamburger so you're going to get you know, quite a bit of juice on there, so make sure you got a good high side type pan and put just a touch of oil. You can use any oil you want. I'll just put a little bit of peanut oil. You can use olive oil. You can use anything you want to keep the, uh, the meat from sticking to the pan while it's starting to cook down. And what I do is I just take it a little bit like that, you see? And that's gonna, that's just gonna help make clean up a lot easier. It'll come right out, and you don't have an excessive amount of oil in your food. So I'm gonna brown this up, and then uh, we'll put everything in the pool, and then we're gonna go for a jug. All right. So as I like to say in the cooking industry, we're gonna throw everything in the pool. So we're gonna put this on low, ready to go, and we got the ground beef, the onion, and the pepper. The last five minutes of the ground beef um, browning, ground beef browning. Uh, I threw the onion and pepper in, get it all around. Uh, I just threw about a teaspoon and a half of that minced garlic from the jar right on top just to save me a little bit of time for the video. And we just take this, we're just going to throw this baby right in there. Next we got the kidney beans. It's going to provide all the juice you need, all the water you need. Just throw that right on in there. The diced tomatoes, more water, so you don't have to add water. It's going to make its own water. The tomato paste and last but not least the chili uh, powder and we'll just go ahead and sprinkle this right on top mmm good good stuff all right now just mix it around a little bit like I said you want at least six hours of cook time at least six hours of cook time but, I mean, if you had to eat this right now, you could eat this right now. The hamburger's cooked. The beans are in the can. The onions and peppers are onions and peppers. Really, what you're doing now is you're going to create juice. And you're going to go ahead and, and get everything to blend together. And really bring out each of its own flavors. The onion, the pepper, the spices, the meat, the fat. That's going to continue to render off of some of the meat. That's all going to come in really nice. So if you were going to do this before work Monday morning to feed your family or feed yourself Monday night and leftovers on Tuesday, whatever, you can do everything you just saw me do right here, right now, and then you can, you know, after dinner or while the kids are doing their homework, prep all this right now. You have everything done, throw it all together, put it all in your crock pot, take your inner plate, your inner pot, 
put your cover on it, and put it in the refrigerator. And in the morning when you wake up and everything's crazy, your kid's getting ready for school, your husband or your wife is pissed off and not wanting to get out of bed, and you're pissed off and everybody's pissed off and nobody wants to go, all you got to do is grab it, throw it in your crock pot, put it on low, plug it in, and when you come home from work 8-10 hours later, you're ready to go. Your meal's ready to go. Alright, so we got two major accomplishes, two major tasks accomplished. We got the chili is going to town over here. Let's take a quick little peek. Oh yeah. So that's been in there for about an hour. So uh, that's working it. Uh, the kitchen's cleaned up. We're going to go for a run. Oh, I got my video uploaded and you guys are actively commenting. So I commented the best that I can, but I got to go. Uh, we're going to go do a 10K run real quick. We're going to knock that out. Then I'm going to rest for a little. And um, then we got some yards to cut. Today's goal is a 10K, so 6.2 miles roughly, give or take uh, a quarter mile or so. Uh, what I like to do is I'm going to run on out a little bit over three miles, probably about three and a half miles, run out to a little bridge area. We'll knock out some push-ups, uh, make fools of ourselves in um, high flow traffic. And then we're going to go ahead and run back to Kroger, which is one mile away from me. And we're going to stop. We're going to get some fresh fruit uh, that they got chopped up already, nice and cold. We're going to get a little protein drink. And then we're going to walk back the last mile um, to loosen up, cool down, and we're going to eat the fruit and drink the protein, protein drink to nourish our bodies back, um, recover. All right, because we still have a pretty big day today. We have to mow my yard, her yard, and save a life, save a lawn's yard. And I owe you guys an update on that. It's a pretty neat uh, turnaround on that yard. So I saved the before pictures from about seven or eight weeks ago. So we'll be able to do some comparison shopping today and see if that um, that that fertilizer that we used, what was it called? Um, cheap shit from the shelf. <laughs> stay green. S-T-A dash green. Stay green lawn fertilizer. Um, we'll be able to check that out and see, you know, a couple months later, how's it doing? Um, I know it's doing pretty well in my yard because I put it down, but my yard was already in pretty healthy shape. Her yard was a mess. So it is hot as hell. Let me get my sunglasses on and then we're going to go for our run. 2.95, 26 minutes in. in and if you look see that light that traffic light way down there that's paradise that's Kroger that's where I get my break my fruit my drink so if you're new in the game running jogging whatever pick small landmarks run to those small landmarks for motivation don't try to you know they say how do you eat a giant elephant one bite at a time so how do you run a long distance run, or any distance run, one step at a time, and try to accomplish your goal. I want you guys to feast your eyes on the sexiest body you've ever seen. No. That one. We finished just over six miles, just a little bit over an hour total time, even with walking back from Kroger, so I can't complain. Look at this chili. I try to not get too much steam on the camera lens. Good juice in there. Oh my god, I can hardly freaking stand it. When can we eat? So there you go, we got the chili going, we got our run going, we got our video uploaded. We've answered comments, we're getting it all done. Now we got three yards we gotta go do, but before that... Oh. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do three yards now. Mine, my neighbor, and save a lawn, save a life. The problem is, it's really freaking hot out. And I don't have a lot of shade options for my camera, and it turns the camera off. So I'm going to do the best I can to capture some, but we're going to move along here pretty quick. That was real time, no editing. Alright, so I wanted to let this thing cool off a little bit, 
I uh, changed my glasses, got a drink of water. So my whole yard's weed eaten and edged, ready to mow. Now we'll go with number two. My backyard's already done today, I already did it. with how this came out so I'm gonna go back over it backwards. Out of line but don't worry I spooled one up yesterday. You guys are like baking in the sun so hopefully we'll get this area done.
So what we've done, I did her backyard completely and blew it off. I blew off our front yards here, blew it in because I'm going to bag and make these yards look real nice. So I don't want extra debris. Um, her side yard here is done. So we're going to go ahead now, weed eat the front yard. And look at this grass now. Let me go ahead and insert a before. That's what it looked like about, I don't know, seven or eight weeks ago. Now take a look at it. I mean, that's just incredible. What a transformation. We used the uh, Stay Green fertilizer and the uh, Mansion, um, Mansion Selective herbicide. So you, I'll go ahead and link to that video at the end. It's called Save a Lawn, Save a Life. I'll link to it at the end of this video. Uh, it'll be the thumbnail. So we'll go ahead and uh, weed eat and edge this front yard right now.
The reason why I edge that like that is just to get the hairs that are coming over. Very light power. All right, guys, it's time to mow the front yards. All the backyards are 100% done, complete. Gates are locked. Front yards are weed eated, edged. Weeds are ground down. And I blew everything in so we could do a proper cleanup with the bag attachment on the mower, get everything looking good. And then a quick blow off when we're done of just these three front yards. It's um, 355, so we've been at it for about two and a half hours um, doing all the backyards, weed eating and edging, answering comments on YouTube, drinking water, chilling. Um, not really killing myself here. I just wanted to be done by about 6 o'clock so I could take a shower and um, finish the chili on this video and be done. It's 525 right now. So you get home from work. Maybe you got kids. They're starting to do their homework or whatever. So you, you prep this all day. Say it's Monday and you prep this all day and you got a side hustle going on or a night job or nothing. Uh, but this is what you have like I say I, I showered but say I came home from work and I put on my side hustle clothes so this is what you got and I mean that is just some really nice looking chili and so up to you what you want to do how you want to prep it for food you know your final meal part of it like I said for me I just take chili, I put it in a bowl, and I just throw some grated cheese on top. Mild cheddar. So the cool thing about this is, you got home, you got home from work, you got yourself a nice little meal ready to go, some Dan's famous chili, world famous chili. It is world famous. You say, well, how is it world famous? I never heard of it. Because this video is going to be shown all over the world. So it's world famous. doesn't mean it's loved all over the world. It just means that a lot of people all over the world are going to see it and know about it. So it's world famous. So there you go. There's your dinner. Serve your size however big you want. I'm just going to eat a little bit because I'm going to go back out and mow some more. But, uh... Two pounds of beef, ground beef. Didn't give too, too much. Probably a family of four could probably eat on this tonight. Um, one person, no. I'll go ahead and put a little bit more. Thanks. That, that right there will fill me up because the beans and everything that are in there. Um, and the hamburg, I mean. Oh, look at this tomato. Look at that. Nice. But, you know, from here it's up to you. Adjust your portion size accordingly, and you know, if you're going to put four pounds of hamburger in there, great. Just add some more bell pepper and add some more onion, and you know, maybe instead of one pack of the McCormick chili, get two packs of the McCormick chili. One and a half teaspoons of garlic, maybe use two or three. It's up to you. All right, so that's Dan's famous homemade chili in a crock pot. It cooked all day. We started at like what, around 10 maybe? Nine? I don't remember. Eight? Here it is, 5.30. We're ready to eat. We'll leave this sitting out for a little while, then we'll put that in Tupperware, and I'll eat on that for a couple days. When I'm done eating, i got to go side hustle, right? Now it's Monday. I'm going to go side hustle. Um, actually, what that means is I'm going to finish my front yard, and then I'll show you guys the finished the finish jobs um, for the day. I think I said that metal edging was Cole Bet with a B. It's uh, Cole Met, C O L M E T. So, anyways, we got my yard done. So, I ate my dinner. I had my chili. It's 6 50. So, I did my yard and I finished my neighbor's yard. So, you know, take a look at them. I mean, they look freaking good. Look at it. It's like a carpet. Her yard's so thick. I cut these at three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Her backyard at, at two and three quarter. And her front yard at three and a quarter. And look at that.
Damn. That looks great. That looks so good. So there you have it. We did uh, we did some serious work today. Three yards mode, not that big of a deal. A 10K, not that big of a deal. Homemade chili, not that big of a deal. Upload a video, not that big of a deal. Answer about 100 comments, not that big of a deal. Do it all together in 11 hours. That's a pretty big deal. All my tasks are done, all my jobs are done. My chili is in Tupperware. I might have another bowl later. I'm going to get some Gatorade. And I will see you guys on the next one. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles. The whistles. The whistles. The whistles.